After months of rumors and leaks, a new Surface tablet has finally arrived. Hey YouTube, how's it going? My name's Jonathan, and in this video, I'm giving you my first look and opinions about the new Microsoft Surface Go. So Microsoft's new Surface Go is an inexpensive 10-inch tablet designed to be a smaller and less powerful version of the Surface Pro. It kind of looks a little bit like a baby version of the Surface Pro, but there's a lot that's different inside. For instance, it only ships with 4GB of RAM, 64GB of storage, and a less powerful Intel Pentium Gold processor, but the good news is that its price is a lot cheaper at $399. Having said that, if you want like a type cover, more RAM, a faster SSD, prices will quickly jump a lot higher than that, the next level up is like $600, and it's kind of difficult to know exactly what Microsoft is going for with this tablet. I mean, the Surface Go isn't really going after Chromebooks, and really, it's not even like a better version of a $400 Windows laptop. Honestly, this seems to be like targeted at a wide variety of different people. For instance, it could just be for people who want a smaller tablet that runs Windows, but it could also be for like education or even commercial use. It also is definitely a cheaper and more portable Surface that lowers the barrier of entry for those who might want a Surface but are put off by the higher prices. It's kind of aiming to be like halfway between an iPad, a small Windows laptop, and a Chromebook. It is natural to want to compare this tablet to the Apple iPad, but they're really not that similar when you look a little bit closer. Apple's base model iPad is priced at $329, and honestly, if you just want a standalone tablet, the iPad is just a way better choice. It's got way more apps, 1.3 million apps in the App Store, and to be honest, the Surface Go is designed to be more of a hybrid experience anyways. Microsoft is continuing to advertise its Surface devices with type covers that cost an extra $99, and these keyboards will turn even the Surface Go into more of a laptop in the same vein that the Surface Line has always tried to capitalize on. To be honest, it's really the thing that sets Surface tablets apart, and really it does a good job leveraging Microsoft's strength in making PCs. Apple doesn't offer a keyboard for its regular iPad, and I mean, the iPad Pro is a little bit like the Microsoft Surface, but for instance there's no cursor support on the iPad lineup, which makes it a whole lot harder to use in a traditional laptop way. The Surface Go isn't really challenging Chromebooks either though, once you've added the type cover, the price for the Surface Go model jumps to $500, and if you're considering a laptop in this range, there are a lot better options with bigger screens, and Google's Chromebooks regularly sell for less than that price point. Microsoft's higher priced Surface Go model is priced at $549 for 8GB of RAM and 128GB of faster SSD storage, and once you've added a keyboard to that, it'll run you $650. Microsoft is kind of targeting the area like between budget and premium. The Surface Go, like the $800 Surface Pro, is a tablet with a keyboard and stylus support that offers different things than either an iPad or a Chromebook. It's a little bit confusing because I'm not exactly sure whose this is exactly meant for, as I already said, but it's possible that this just offers enough to set it apart from either iPads or Chromebooks or even Microsoft's other Surface tablets that people will want it. After all, the Surface Go does have a big trackpad, USB-C charging, a much better kickstand than you get in a lot of tablets, and the type of premium design you don't normally see at this end, but it is smaller than the Surface 3. Microsoft's risk is bet betting on a base model with 4GB of RAM and 64GB of storage to power an acceptable Windows 10 experience in such a small form factor. But with that said, let me know what you think of the Surface Go in the comment section down below. Let me know if you're interested in getting this or if you'd like to see me review it on this channel. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And with that said, I will see you next time.